Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel and I'm the High Mileage Helper. On this channel, my goal is to be able to help you learn more about the RV transporting industry, as well as give how-to videos for your truck and then give recommendations along the way. So if this is our first time being, just consider subscribing, uh, hitting the like button if you get good value. And in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you along with me uh, on my trip to London, uh, London, Kentucky. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this hooked up. It's a 26 foot uh, travel trailer here. Uh, it's a Alpha Wolf. It's just a real small trailer here. Uh, it's just four feet longer than my truck. And then on today's trip, I've got Miss Bella with me. Uh, she is coming along for the ride on this one and uh, we're gonna be going ahead and getting this hooked up She'll be my helper today. Oh And uh, Mr. Ryder, he's at home uh, with my wife and this is my first trip uh, away from home uh, after getting married uh, So this feels a little different feels a little weird to be gone from home uh, Not with my wife, but so we'll go ahead and get this party started uh, Getting this trailer hooked up and uh, get out on the road one last thing I did want to share with you before I go ahead and get hooked up uh, is that I got a gift from the Transport Bandits. They got connected with Synergy uh, as drivers and so they went ahead and left a gift at Synergy for us, uh, for my wife and I at Synergy and this is what they gave us. Uh, it's a painting of a, a church and uh, it says Kara and Daniel December 20th, uh, 2020. Uh, just a real beautiful uh, painting that they made and uh, have a little message for us on the back here and uh, just real so sweet of them to do that so thank you so much again uh transport bandits uh for painting that for us i already sent a picture of it to my wife and she's just thrilled with it uh super grateful so thank you so much for painting that for us uh it's gonna be awesome we're gonna hang it up in the house and it'll be a good time so so i'll go ahead and start hooking up now Thanks so much. Yep, Appreciate it. You too. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are out on the road, uh, traveling down south here to get to Kentucky. Uh, it's been relatively uh, pretty nice out on the road so far. Not too much traffic. I know the wind a little earlier. It was around 20 miles an hour. So I had to really be careful with that. Uh, when it does get up to 25 miles an hour, the dealership does require for us to pull off the road. So just trying to be watchful of that. As well as I don't have a death wish. So I've just been taking it easy for some time now, but it seems that the wind has kind of died down. So uh, picking up a little bit more speed. And it's honestly been a little strange being out on the road now for not being on the road for some time, getting married, moving in, uh, getting the getting the house taken care of, getting the wife taken care of uh, through this transition, and uh, just been interesting to be back on the road. It's it's strange leaving, uh, but uh, that just comes with the with the job and uh, what we have to do. So, uh, anyways, not too bad of a drive so far. It's kind of sneaking down south, but I will say this: there's been several way stations so far. Every single one so far that have been closed. I don't know if these are regular way stations that are generally closed all the time but man they have been closed all the way down and i've been loving it i believe we're now getting to the bottom of indiana uh going to be cutting over to uh, ohio i believe cincinnati uh, and then dropping down if i'm remembering right uh, i haven't really been looking at the gps but i think i've got let's see uh only a, only 170 miles left so it's not going to be too much longer to go be able to get to the destination i do know for sure that i'm not going to be able to deliver today uh, unfortunately just how long things took to get uh, up to goshen and then hooked up and then on on the road so it's going to be an early morning drop off uh, i believe they start accepting at nine o'clock they called to confirm they gave me the runaround of, of who to talk to ended up leaving a voicemail so uh, we'll see how that goes for tomorrow but uh, I'll try to be ready probably by 7.45 in case they are up and ready to go at 8. But if not, I think I'll be stuck with just waiting till probably 9 o'clock uh, when they start accepting. And uh, that'll be fine. Uh, I know I'm going to have a much longer uh, break than just a 10-hour break. Uh, so whenever they do, 
allow me to come in, I will. I know one thing that I have not been able to do that I've always tried to get done, uh, especially during the New Year's shutdown time, during the Christmas, Christmas shutdown, whatever you want to call it, uh, is I go through a super thorough uh, maintenance, change all my fluids, all my oils, ev just everything. I was unable to do that because of getting married and just life happening. And so uh, I believe I am uh, a little overdue for that. So uh, one thing after this load or maybe after a couple loads, uh, if they're real short or a short amount of time, uh, is I'm gonna go home and uh, do a boatload of maintenance, uh, pull the truck into the garage and uh, just go to town on it. Make sure everything's good to go, nothing's about to break, uh, no issues. Kind of my annual inspection uh, I guess for myself, besides the actual, you know, DOT uh, annual inspection, uh, this is mine uh, for myself, uh, for my own peace of mind. Uh, so that'll be good uh, when I do get home, uh, whether that's after this one or maybe a couple other ones uh, this week. Uh, there are definitely more loads on the load board, but they are shorter. So I think within the next week or so, I know a lot of people have been asking me, uh, hey, what about the load board? Hey, what's going on with the loads? You know, generally every single year, again, generally, the middle of January is when things start to pick up. And maybe that looks different at, you know, at different companies, uh, different years, but it seems that they're already building up a, a longer list uh, on the load board uh, than just from a week ago. So it would be my guess that there's gonna be enough companies out there uh, that build up enough on their load boards uh, to really being able to start picking and choosing uh, rather than just begging and, and just hoping for a load at all even. You know, Synergy's already got, uh, I think they had, uh, this morning they had like 40, uh, and I think it's just gonna kinda keep ramping up from there, uh, going into this uh, big season up ahead of us. I personally believe even though we've had so many trailers go out with this higher peak pay, uh, with this incentive that we've had for some time now, several, several months. Uh, I believe there's still so many trailers uh, that we're so behind on out there that this next season is going to be very large, uh, very big, unless uh, continued issues with certain viruses, you know, come up or political issues, whatever may happen. But I think we have a pretty large future coming up uh, ahead of us for this next season. Uh, going all the way until July, uh, middle of July-ish, when they have another shutdown. It's either end of year is retooling or it's July is retooling. And then the other one is the uh, you know upgrade for the new year, the new model and everything. So uh, I know things do change. I, I can't remember which it is now. Uh, I think it's July when the new change happens, uh, when they start switching all to the new models. Either way, uh, it is a shutdown, and uh, I think we're going to be uh, going, you know, blasting off all the way until then. Uh, so we've got several months ahead of us where there will be quite a few loads on the load board. Most drivers will probably be able to, you know, get loads that they want to going to certain places. Uh, so that'll be good uh, going forward. And I'm just curious, after all of these things that have happened uh, over the last year, uh, I'm just kind of curious to see where is the, uh, the, the pulse, uh, the temperature, whatever you want to call it, uh, of this industry between all the different companies, all the drivers uh, that have jumped on, uh, how many people are going to stay, how many people are gonna go, where are our pay rates, our, our per mile rates going to land after the incentive it's taken away? You know, what, what's gonna happen? I'm very curious to find that out, uh, just like you probably are as well. Nevertheless, uh, when you're operating this like a business, you can't depend on uh, certain incentives or temporary things because they're just simply temporary you know planning for the future i, I really just try to uh, plan for the worst and hope for the best uh, as much as possible and uh, and if i get surprised uh, things are better off then fantastic so i'm going to go ahead and get back to driving here and i'll catch you guys a little bit later
right guys, so I made it in last night. Uh, made it into a Fazoli's parking lot uh, where I'm at. Uh, had some good food last night. Just got some work done on the computer and I got to play with Miss Bella here a little bit. We are ready to roll this morning. Uh, just a little bit down the road is our destination and then we'll be able to drop off uh, this short little trip here. And honestly, it's these short trips that I really just do enjoy uh, more and more. You know, the long trips seem to get longer and longer when I'm away from uh, from family, from loved ones. When I'm able to take these shorter trips that get me home quicker, it is just kind of nice to have those kind of sprinkled throughout your trips uh, when you're out on the roads. Uh, anyways, just going to enjoy this one. Going to get this dropped off here soon. Uh, there is no wash fee. Uh, on this particular uh, trailer. Uh, so I'm not gonna have to worry about that. Uh, that was nice to see on the uh, details. Before I decided to get this trailer, I'm just gonna go ahead down the road now and uh, we'll catch you in just a little bit. All right, so I just got done delivering uh, the trailer. Uh, sorry I didn't get any footage for you. Uh, it was just kind of crazy. Uh, I pulled in and uh, the guy immediately said, hey, you're gonna have to go get this trailer washed somewhere. And as I kind of mentioned earlier, it's actually a do not wash uh, trailer. And so uh, that's not really my problem to deal with. And so uh, he just kind of walked away and I'm thinking, oh dear, here we go. This guy's about to rip off my head. He's upset and uh, it's gonna be a long drop off. But instead of that, he shifted his anger towards the manufacturers and how quickly they put things together, uh, how they mistreat drivers and you know throw drivers underneath the bus uh, for their problems and, uh, and issues. And so he just kind of told me his thoughts on that. He walked around the trailer once, grabbed my license plate for me, gave it to me, said, I'll see you inside. And so literally like 30 seconds later, uh, I was in there. I had already you know, completely dropped and, uh, and I was out of there. So probably the quickest drop off I've ever had. Uh, he was just waiting on me. Uh, so I was trying to catch up. So Miss Bella, she was uh, unable to run around and uh, try to say hi to everybody, but we got this thing dropped off. I just filled up just a little bit, just enough to be able to get back home. And uh, that'll kind of wrap up this load. Uh, on the load board, there's currently no loads uh, that I'm interested in. They're only going to Ohio, very short, short load. So uh, unless something drastically changes on the load board, this is still the short period of time where uh, there's not a whole lot of loads on the board, uh, not a lot of good options or options at all. So we're gonna go ahead and go home and uh, take care of other business at home. Uh, our washer just died uh, a few days ago, so uh, we need to go get a new washer. That is my future, <laughs> uh, going to go pick up a new washer uh, at home. And uh, I'm sure I'll be doing some other work uh, when I'm at home, you know, making some money on the side, being able to do things. So, so I will go ahead and catch you guys later. Uh, hopefully this was an enjoyable, uh, shorter uh, video to watch, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get home and uh, be on our way and uh, take care of the washer situation at home. So with all that being said, hopefully you have a great day today, guys. Stay safe and God bless.